Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onedi Guzman, and our topic for today is Word Problems Involving Sides and Angles of a Polygon. This is for Grade 7, Quarter 3. So polygons are two-dimensional shapes. They are made of straight lines and all lines are connected. Polygons comes from the Greek word poly means many and gon means angle. Points that define a polygon are the polygon vertices. And finally, the number of vertices, sides, and interior angles in a polygon is the same, and this number specifies the name of the polygon. Let's recall, the interior angle is the angle on the inside of a polygon formed by each pair of adjacent sides. On the other hand, exterior angle is an angle formed by the side and extension of adjacent sides of a convex polygon. So for the formula that we will use, so we have the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular polygon is equal to S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. It means that N is equal to the number of sides of a polygon. Next formula, that is the measure of each interior angles of a regular polygon, that is, okay, is equal to N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. And finally, the measure of each exterior angles of a regular polygon is equal to 360 degrees divided by N. Let's have application number one. So find the interior angle of a regular octagon. Recall that if we say uh, regular octagon, it means the number of sides is equal to A. So we will use the formula that is N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. And since the value of N is equal to 8, so we simply plug in or simply substitute that. That is 8 minus 2 times 180 divided by uh, 8. So we have now 6 times 180 divided by 8, or I, or measure of the interior angle, is equal to 135. So therefore, each interior angle of an octagon is 135 degrees. Let's move on to the next question. So what is the measure of each exterior and interior angle in a regular pentagon? Recall that if we say pentagon, it means the number of sides is equal to pi. So for our first step, so if we want to find the each exterior angle, so the sum of exterior angle is equal to 360. So this is our basis. So therefore, the measure of each exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by n. So we have here 360 divided by 5, or this is equal to 72 degrees. Next, since we look for each interior angle, take note that the interior and exterior angles up, uh, adds up to 180. So meaning to say they are supplementary. So therefore, that is 180 minus 72 is equal to 108. So therefore, each interior angle is equal to 108 degrees. Okay, so let's move on to problem number 3. So what is the size of one interior angle of a regular decagon? Recall that if we say decagon, it means that we have 10 sides. So we may pass through this formula. So we, have, uh, we look for first for each in exterior angle. So... We have here the sum of the exterior angles is 360, so we can have 360 divided by 12, or each exterior angle is equal to 36 degrees. But we are looking for each uh, interior angle, so take note that the interior and the exterior angle is supplementary, so we can say that the sum of the interior and exterior is equal to 180 degrees. So to find the interior angle, so that is 180 minus 36. So the answer is equal to 144 degrees. Let's move on to this problem. So an interior angle in a regular polygon measures 60 degrees. How many sides does a polygon have? Now, in order to find out the number of sides, let's recall that 
each interior angle is equal to 60 degrees and we want to find out the number of sides so recall that for us to determine the each uh, uh, exterior angle recall that the interior angle and the exterior angle adds up to 180 degrees so therefore we subtract 60 from 180 so the exterior angle is equal to 120 degrees now that we know the value of the exterior angle and recall also the sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 so that is 120 is equal to 360 divided by n then we will multiply both sides of the equation by n okay so i come up with 120 is equal to 360 then divide both sides by n okay so n is equal to 3 now that the value of n is equal to 3 we can say that the polygon has three sides next let's move on to question number five what is the measurement of an exterior angle of a regular triangle so if you say regular triangle meaning to say that the number of sides is equal to three so we can use actually this formula wherein the sum of the exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees so the measure of each exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by n so plug in the value of n which is 3 so 360 divided by 3 is equal to 120 degrees let's move on to question 6 calculate the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon if we say pentagon it means we have five sides so in order to find okay the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon we will use this formula that is s is equal to n minus 2 times 180 where n is equal to the number of sides then we plug in okay 5 minus 2 times 180 so this is 3 times 180 so s is equal to 540 degrees therefore we can say that the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees let's move on to question number seven the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 144 degrees find the number of sides in the polygon since we want to find out the number of sides recall that each interior angle is equal to 144 degrees now so for us to determine the each exterior angle recall that the interior and exterior angles are supplementary meaning to say the sum is equal to 180 so we will deduct 144 from 180 so each exterior angle is 36 degrees next one so since we know already that the value of each exterior angle which is 36 degrees and the sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees so divide 360 by n that is equal to 36 now we want to find out the number of sides so we will manipulate this equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by n okay so we come up with 36n is equal to 360 and divide both sides by okay, 36 so n is equal to 10 so therefore we can say that the polygon has 10 sides okay so let's move on to number eight the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 135 find the number of sides like what we have done a while ago so each interior angle is 135 degrees and the number of n or the number of sides is unknown so take note that the interior and exterior angle angles are supplementary it means that the sum is 180 degrees so subtract 135 from 180 we come up with 45 degrees so this is your exterior angle next so we know that the sum of exterior angles is 360 so divide okay 360 by n that is equal to 45 so base that is on our okay formula 
But take note, we, are, we want to find out the value of n. So that's why multiply both sides of the equation by n. So we come up with 45n is equal to 360. Then divide both sides by 45. So the value of n is equal to 8. So therefore, the polygon has 8 sides. Let's move on to problem number 9. Find the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon that has 15 sides. So again, so n is equal to 15, so that is the total number of sides. And, okay, measure of each interior angles of a regular po polygon has a formula of, okay, that is n minus 2 times 180 divided by the n. And since n is equal to 15, plug in or substitute, so we come up with 15 minus 2 times 180 divided by 15. So to continue, so we have 13 times 180 divided by 15. So each interior angle is equal to 156 degrees. Okay, let's have another example. Find the measure of each angle of a regular dodecagon. Take note that if you say the dodecagon, it means that we have 12 sides. So n is equal to 12. And we will use this formula, the measure of each interior angles of a regular polygon. So that is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. Simply substitute the value of n, which is equal to 12. So we have 12 minus 2 times 180 divided by 12. So we come up with 10 times 180 divided by 12. So therefore, the measure of each uh, interior angle is equal to 150 degrees. Let's move on to problem number 11. So find the measure of one interior angle of a regular polygon with 18 sides. So take note that the number of sides is equal to 18, so we want to find out uh, the interior angle. So recall that the measure of each interior angle of a regular po polygon has a formula of n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So we're in n is equal to 18. So substitute, so we have now 18 minus 2 times 118 divided by 18. So to continue, we have 16 times 180 divided by 18, so we come up with 160 degrees. Therefore, the measure of each interior angle is equal to 160 degrees. Let's move on to problem number 12. What polygon is the sum of the interior angle of 900 degrees? So, based on the given, we have the sum of the interior angles is equal to 900 degrees. And we want to find out what polygon will satisfy this condition. So, we will use the formula sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular polygon as a formula of S is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now, that we know that the value of S, which is the sum, okay, so this is actually your sum. We simply substitute that. So we have 900 is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 180. We can factor this one out. So 900 divided by 180, so this is equal to 5, is equal to n minus 2. Then add both sides by 2, so we come up with n is equal to 5 plus 2, so n is equal to 7. So therefore, okay, it is a seven-sided polygon, but we want to find out the name. So therefore, the polygon is heptagon. So that ends our lessons on size and angles of polygon. So again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.